Jesus Christ. If today's gospel sounds familiar, it's because yesterday we heard Luke's account of the exact same conversation uh, about the difficulty of discipleship, about how it is that to follow Jesus means that there might not be a place of comfort because the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head, really referring to the fact that Jesus and his followers were a band of itinerant preachers that didn't, who didn't really have a home. But Jesus is getting at something far more profound about how it is that we fit into the world or not. We hear the prophet Amos today challenging the infidelity to the covenant because people were starting to embrace not God's way, but the ways of the world. And it can't be both ways. St. Cyril of Alexandria teaches us a little bit of walking that line, that there's this kind of shadow side of Cyril's ministry that was less than noble in how he defended the faith. And it's a reminder to us about how it is that we have to walk that line of being in the world but not of the world. We make use of the things of the world for the glory of God. We don't simply reject the world outright. We can say, you know, even looking at, at today's society and, and, and the tools that we have at our disposal for proclaiming the gospel, that we can use digital and social media to help proclaim and teach the faith. Certainly that was a, a great godsend during the pandemic as we were able to remain connected and serve and pray and, 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 and have devotion even though we couldn't gather. But there's a shadow side to all of that. And if we embrace too much, we find ourselves hearing the words of the psalmist about throwing in our lot with the world and all its cares and abandoning the things of God. It's a difficult line indeed, and it makes the call to discipleship perhaps a little bit less inviting as Jesus is asking for this level of commitment from us to follow without worrying about what's left behind without worrying about where we will be sent, where we will go, and what will be provided. We simply go, because to be with Jesus is all that really matters. But we have to be with Jesus. That's what the psalmist has us remember. Consider this, you who forget God, lest I rend you and there be no one to rescue you. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. May we know that gift of salvation and the grace of God as we stay close to Jesus with the resolve to follow him in all things.